have with us Mr. Loknath Behera, Managing Director for Kochi Metro Rail Limited. We'll be asking him about his experience at Inno Metro 4th edition and also as to how does he look at the prospects of metro and rail industry going down the line. Hello sir, welcome to Inno Metro 2024. How has your experience been so far? Uh, what I, I was uh, very impressed with the exhibition and uh, very basic products and very innovative products are being on display. Uh, many of the things are now going to be used in the new metros like us. We are now building new lines and I'm sure that many of the products which have been displayed will come to be uh, to us in one form or other. Second part is that uh, the first uh, panel discussion was good. Uh, I like the way uh, the people asked questions uh, on variety of subjects and uh, it was a very learning experience for me also to know the mind of the people what they really want and also I could gather some information about the new things which are happening in Metro. As a whole, uh, sir, as a whole, how do you look at, let's say, uh, in layman's term, if I ask you in layman's term, how do you explain the term sustainable rail transportation as to what are the ends that this particular theory contains? Let's say, uh, if, if I want to explain this particular term to a layman, what would it be? See, I could uh, say that uh, sustainable, uh, that sustainability is not a concept, it's a way of life. So what you have that, you, you should not actually think about sustainable technology. It is sustainable in, sustainability in the environment, sustainability in social uh, part of the living, sustainability in technology, sustainability in operations. So various things you can put that way. Sustainable means which will not affect our life adversely. That is the only simple way to tell. Or even if you talk about environmental sustainability, we should not pollute our uh, environment. We should not actually emit carbon dioxide. All these things are there. So if you say that we will use more electricity, we will not use fossil fuel much. These are basically the things about sustainable. We call about sustainable traffic. That means the traffic congestion will not be there. There will be less accidents. This is what it is. Sustainability moving beyond the debates is a thing of practice. What message do you have for the res for the people here, for the people here in the event, as well as for the uh, for the entire metro industry, let's say, as a whole? First of all, the event, whatever discussion takes place, this should be summarized and sent to the government and the, to the central government to the state government. Various best practices should be brought to their notice. Number one. Number two is that. The importance of the conference is that exchange of ideas. I also got some new ideas which I am going to think about it when I am going to implement that. Third thing is that uh, <coughs> this subject sustainable is having a lot of meaning. That could be simplified and can we think about a sustainability act as I told so that everybody is bound to do it. It's a mandatory for people to do it. It will be not a discretion. That's what I think. Any last message that you have for, uh, for the industry, for the people here, for your audiences, for the residents of Kochi? I say that I, only one thing I will say right now. Travel in public transport. Even if it is a little inconvenient, you transport, I mean, go, use that. Don't use your vehicles because we have to leave something good for our children and grandchildren. Therefore, it is better that use public transport. Only in emergency, use the, your own transport. 